Welcome back to NGTV Plays. Uh, we're opening for Sales 4, featuring myself, Spencer, my co-host, Matt. Uh, we're playing the Eldorado expansion. Why the Eldorado fuck do you always point at me? I don't know. It just they helps can't me see visualize. you point. It just helps me visualize, man. You know, it's, got, it's, it's, it's better for my thought processes. What thought process? All the ones that take... All the ones that it takes to do the intro, really. Which is more than you would think, man. It's more than you would think. Glad we called that, uh... Oh, they'll be our protectorate. <sighs> Sucks. We don't want that. Just give us your money. Can we demand anything else? War reparations. Oh, that's good. Transfer trade power. Oh, military access. Yeah. That's good. All right. I'm gonna pay off a loan. Should pay off a loan. Always want to stay current with a loan. Now we're making 71 ducats a month. I think that's wrong. No, dude, that's right. <laughs> Spoils of War 71. Really? They've added like a lot of kind of weird shit to this. Yeah, it's very strange. See, then it goes back down again. Yeah. I knew it would. Oh. Um, oh, Abenaki is... Totes our friend right now. Oh, we should offer an alliance. They would barely accept it. Like, well, you know, you did pretty good against Chara, but your colonization is a little, it's a little much. Hmm. What do you, uh? Oh, you, oh, you're taking it back. Are we gonna try to become friends with like Cherokee or Tutelo? No. Oh, you're gonna fabricate a claim. God damn it, are you for real? Did we ever get... No? Well... That sucks. Yeah. I was hoping that we could ally Kusa and then fabricate a claim against, like, Cherokee or something like that. Yeah, that's what I was hoping to. We have enough money to, uh... Build... Pay off the loans? Well, yeah, pay off the loans and also... Finish our mission. Which should give us some kind of bonus in some way. You can pay out both of them. Feels good. We don't have a lot of money, but we're loan free. And that's important. Oh, well, they're gone. We should get rid of all of our heavy ships. Transports? Also our transports. Unless you wanted to... Well, we need at least one transport. And I say that because if we're going to be like, you know, colonizing across the sea, then we need at least one transport. You know? Yeah, but we can always rebuild these. That's true. Yeah, just... Just disband the unit. That way we don't have to worry about... That helped a little. Yeah. Whoops. Our fleet costs, which is good. Should we do Chesapeake Bay too? Yeah, let's try Chesapeake Bay. That might increase the amount of money we're going to get from Chesapeake Bay now, which is hopefully. Yep. Oh, awesome. Okay, we're, you know, we're slowly figuring it out. This is good. Kind of uh, getting the rust off from having not played in a while. Oh, you guys need to stay there. Yeah. Really curious as to how Europe looks right about now. What's down in the bottom there? Those those countries on the left. What do we got here? We Divia, got Divia, Mongolia, <laughs> Syria. A ton of Asian places over here. Or no, Styria. Syria. Oh, yeah, Syria. The Ringi. They're uh, home of the Ferengi. Oh, the Ferengi. Yeah, that's, that's nice. I didn't realize that uh, we were in the, you know, Star Trek universe. Yeah, well, we are. <laughs> well, we are, dude. You don't know. So how much are we making a month right now? Like one point something? Yeah. Very little. I'm, like, supposed to, like, build something there, yeah? Yeah, we're supposed to... Fortify it.
Yeah, but then like, I can't. Oh, need 50, that's why I can't. Oh. Well, I guess that makes sense. Because we can lower our army maintenance while we wait. That's true. We can. We don't need any of that. Oh, yeah, that's probably a good idea to just up our colony maintenance. That way we can get the colonizing a little bit faster. Yeah, because this shit is ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, now we're getting 20 a year. That's good. Getting three years, freaking dumb. It's really slow. We have a lot of mystery power. How close are we to teching? Very close. Oh, nice. Are we gonna tech the point, or are we gonna go for an, an idea? What? Oh no. Oh, this is good. This is good. Twenty-nine nuggets. Yeah, we want money. Oh, nice. So next month we'll be able to buy the Earth Rampart. Sweet. So are we going to tech up our, uh, our administrative technology? We oh, have we to. have to for, to get national ideas. Okay. Yeah, yes. stupid. Well, we can do it right now, can't we? No. Oh, we got like a month. Cool. Nice. Okay. What do we want to do? Probably something to do with money and maybe expansion. <sighs> uh, we could do trade ideas. Or we could do exploration ideas. What do, what do administrative ideas do for us? Does that increase base taxes to tax and stuff like that? Oh, economic ideas. Might be useful for our current situation. We need to have a lot of money. Tax modifier goes up. Build cost goes down. It's overall great for just uh, money in general. I say we start with with one that increases our money, and then and then afterwards go. You can't for really it. think about short term like that though, because these aren't like short term thingies. Hmm. You know. That's true. I'm I'm just going off the uh, the thing with uh you know the more the more money you're able to create the the easier everything else will be. I mean, if if not that, then definitely something like expansion or or exploration. Something that makes it easier for us to colonize and become bigger with the lowest amount of growing pains. I guess we should do trade. Trade is uh, always... Trade or expansion. Let's do expansion because... Uh, well, then we'll get an additional colonist and a additional merchant so it'll work out anyways and i feel like with expansion we'll be able to make our trade better faster yeah. cool i always thought it was strange that if you spend in the uh ideas you don't up your 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 tech at all like you have to choose you know Oh my god, could you be any more of a bitch? I had to <laughs> cough. <laughs> Nobody heard that but you. Yeah. Really, it just sounds like, like you're making fun bitch. of me for something that didn't exist. I could have said, what are you talking about? And they would have also been like, what are you talking about? No, dude. They heard. <laughs> they heard. Really, now we have Ohio. Ah. That's that place a little bit more, uh, more in the center there. We are collecting from here. Oh yeah, we're yeah. We're Who the has the most? Brazil. Brazil. Why does Brazil have the most? They're like tiny little thing up above, Bush Korea. Yeah, I don't know. Apparently, the Cherokee is gone, along, along with the Tutelo. That's what happened. Wait, wait, wait. what's that red? Oh, Lion Jing. So Lan Jing, I'm confused. What the hell happened? 
Weird. Did they just die as a country? They just like... Can that happen? I don't know. When's our truce run out with them? Cherokees. Two years. That's really weird. Yes, it is really weird. Didn't know that a uh, province could just die like that. Well, they can. Apparently so. Well, guys, I won't be building any ships. <laughs> Them shit's expensive. Oh, what's our... Um, how close are we done to building the fortifications? This cool. It'll be done cool. in one year. So less than I wanted, but okay. It's fine. I guess building an earth rampart is not, uh, not quick business. What's up here? The Wurzburg. Check us out. At least they're close to where they're supposed to be. Got Frankfurt. Very interesting. Who's this? Oh, Jamaica. Styria. That's funny. They own some island nations there. What did we initially get from getting the uh, the expansion stuff? Did we get anything at all, or did you just get the option to then start doing the expansion stuff? Is that how it works? What? That's the map, the the thing. Making our own place, our own country, and shit like that. No, I know that. I'm There's some other events and stuff like that in the normal game. Normal, yeah. No, I wasn't talking about that. I was talking about when we got the ideas the national idea for the expansion. Did we get something immediately or are we still, do we have to now tech for that? You have to tech for that. Okay. I would like a game where you start out as a small tribe of like nomadic peoples and then you settle down in an area and then you create the city kind of like you do in Banished, right? And then after you create the city, you then decide to settle more cities and then it slowly just becomes bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Like that. Where it's really it's long. Kaladi. What? It's like wipe Kaladi off the map. Oh, oh that's Kaladi. Yeah, I would like a game like that. Where it's a little bit more... It kind of... It, it grows. At, the, the gameplay would grow as you grew as a nation. Oh, that was dumb. What happened? We have a transfer trade power in the nation? Uh, yeah, they're transferring our trade power. Oh, that's what you said was dumb? Yeah, no. Oh. I took that mission because I thought it would give us a thing, but... Um, it doesn't matter because we can't fight them again until 64, so... Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, that was, was a little soon. But the game gave us the option, you know? It's like, fuck. We're going to send a colonist here. That's a... Probably a good idea, so we can actually start yeah. going that way. We could have done Eskamami or whatever, which touches two different countries, but it's fine. No. Is it not good enough of a uh, colony yet? I don't know. Sometimes I don't understand those rules. The Bay of Fundy. You could if you could rename like the water stuff and yeah, call it like America Bay. Uh. Lose 10 legitimacy, but our tax modifier. Or gain 20 legitimacy. We don't really... Our legitimacy is at 100 right now, right? Yeah. We can lose to gain. We could lose to gain. We could gain... You know, we, we'd be fine. That's what I'm trying to say. Gain to lose? Yeah, sure. That didn't really do shit. 
Oh, yeah, I did. Why are we losing money all of a sudden again? Because I got to freaking do the freaking thing right here, man. She. Oh, it added on to our colony. Yeah. Cost. How close are we to the other colony? Way far away. Oh, boy. Isn't there a way that we can just, like, pass a policy to make people go faster when it comes to colonizing? Oh, that's the place that we already have. We have to colonize it first, though, don't we? Or is that in the process of colonizing that it becomes a city? It's either that or achieve religious unity, which would take 20 years, so... This will take a much shorter amount of time. Hopefully. Ah. We're going to have better fighters automatically. We do need to go to another war so we can uh, get more money. Yeah, no, but I mean, we can't really do it until our, our things are done. Shit. Can we go faster? Oh, we are on four. We're already on four. Yeah. To go any faster would just make the recording shit, so. Just when you find other things to uh, pass our time. Um, can't really build anything. We don't have any money. We could try to achieve religious unity, but that's not really going to do much for us. We're collecting from Chesapeake Bay, and we're collecting from Ohio. This is just the way for those uh, colonies to be colonized. Yeah. Oh, wait for our tech to tech and just become better and better compared to everyone else, really. That's, what has to, that's, that's what's happening right now. I should have reduced our... Did it make our naval maintenance really bad? Oh, what's our force limit? Our force limit's fine. The force limit's fine. Yeah. Strange. What if that would reduce the amount of money that we would be getting from protecting trade, though? I guess in the long run, it still evens out. Lightship trade power down by 75%. Whew. So doesn't that just negate the fact that we're even having them do that? Maybe it takes that into account. Yeah, it does. Nope, it doesn't. We can try to find the perfect equilibrium. There's not one. Hey, cotton will now be produced in Charlotte. Nice. You see, I don't know what those mean, though. It's like what we're gonna trade in. In uh, that's what we're gonna export. Do we need to pay more attention to that? I mean, it's random what you get, I think, or not really random, but what see, you get. See, I wish, I wish that there was more trade options because the trade in this game is very. You, it's 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 like you're moving large, like, it's like big motions, but there's not a lot of smaller control. I feel sure. like it'd be better if you could choose, instead of just the direction of the trade uh, as well, as what you're trading in particular areas and how much and stuff like that. I mean, you might be able to. We're just dumb. Nice, an additional colonist that we can't really afford to use right now. All right. Now we're making two point two five. Why? I I don't I don't you know. Oh, the the month ticked over. Maybe whatever you did helped. Damn them. What are we gaining just a tiny bit from? In money. War reparations. Oh. Point seven. I was going to try to maximize that, but I guess we can't. Or point six. Maybe we should maximize production. We don't really. We don't. We never pr like pay attention to production. But production might be where we need to... Uh, hey, iron. That's pretty good. Maybe that's... Oh, maybe the cotton is what gave us more money. Oh, you know what? Maybe. Like more production for cotton. Maybe. Oh, our... Uh, our trade's up to three now. You know what? I bet that's what it is. Pretty good. Maybe. maybe All righty. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.